Entangling words. Mastering relative pronouns and adverbs. Hello everyone, and welcome to another video in our Grammar Fundamentals series. Today, we're diving deep into adjective clauses, specifically focusing on a common stumbling block, the misuse of relative pronouns and adverbs. By the end of this video, you'll be able to confidently use these important tools in your English language toolkit. Before we tackle the common errors, let's remind ourselves what an adjective clause is. An adjective clause is a group of words that work like an adjective in a sentence. They describe or provide more information about a noun. These clauses often begin with relative pronouns like who, which, that, or relative adverbs like when, where, and why. For example, in the sentence, the book, which is on the table, is mine. The clause, which is on the table, is an adjective clause, giving more information about the noun, book. One of the most common mistakes when using adjective clauses is the incorrect use of relative pronouns. Remember, the relative pronoun you choose should relate directly to the noun it's describing, and the choice depends on whether that noun is a person, a thing, or a place. Misuse example 1. The man which helped me is my teacher. Correction. The man who helped me is my teacher. Here, the relative pronoun, which, is incorrectly used for a person. Instead, who, is the correct relative pronoun to use when referring to people. Another common pitfall is misusing relative adverbs. These adverbs should connect to the noun they're describing based on time, place, or reason. Misuse example 2. The city which I was born is very beautiful. Correction. The city where I was born is very beautiful. In this case, which doesn't correctly link the place, city, with the action, born. The relative adverb, where, should be used to show the place of an action. Sometimes, the problem isn't misuse but omission. Adjective clauses require relative pronouns or adverbs to connect them to the rest of the sentence. Misuse example 3. The dog ran away is now back home. Correction. The dog that ran away is now back home. Without that, the sentence doesn't make sense. The relative pronoun, that, connects the clause to the noun, dog. Remember, the key to mastering relative pronouns and adverbs is practice. Be mindful of the noun you're describing, and select your relative pronouns and adverbs accordingly. With these tips, you'll avoid these common pitfalls and your English will be more fluent and natural. Thanks for joining us today, and keep practicing. We hope you found this video helpful, and we'll see you in the next one.